Hello friends, in this video we will go through the white paper of Dimensions Network and I will try to summarize the key important points which I have learned by reading this white paper so far. StrikeCoin by Dimensions Network is a cryptocurrency trading platform which will support options, futures, coins and other derivatives. So welcome and uh, let's get started. Well, cryptocurrencies have outperformed all major benchmarks in the recent past. The significant trading investment activities have actually brought a lot of volatility and that is expected to remain elevated and I think you would also agree to that. Um, in fact, a joint report from uh, Coinbase and ARK Invest estimates that 54% of Coinbase users still use Bitcoin. So that says that there are still uh, different scopes and opportunities. There are many organizations who are building platforms for future and options trading. There where Dimension Network has also come up with one of such kind. However, a key important fact to note here is Dimensions Network proposed to share their profit. So if you uh, have the to if you are a token holder, you will get 15% of their earnings, which is very good. So what different Dimensions Network is trying to do here is that they are going to merge the centralized and the decentralized platforms together to a hybrid trading and uh, that believed to be bring a lot of liquidity. The touch and pay solution will also definitely add value in terms of ease of use of course uh, because you can just uh, pay by uh, using a phone. Okay so uh, while the cryptocurrency will remain volatile uh, it is important that investors want to protect your position, so as you. And then uh, hedging strategies and diversification will become a critical and, and vital points. So targeting that, Dimensions Network targets development which can produce a soon and certain increase in the revenue. And um, uh, to achieve that, they will use the soul shop giants and use their exceptional knowledge which can generate solid returns. Okay, so what is the approach that they are trying to follow? So generally keep surveying the market, use uh, the relevant softwares, and like I said, have a hybrid version of solution, and whatever the profit they gain, they will try to use that to develop and enhance the, uh, their platform. So the one, buck, one umbrella plan of dimension network will support centralized, decentralized, along with the real-time currency. And this will actually be delivered into three phases respectively. Let's have a look to this comparison chart between the centralized and decentralized platforms. In fact, if you see here, they both have one or the other advantages. Whereas if we look at hybrid platform, you can very clearly see that they are saying it is pretty much customizable, which is really cool. With their continued upgrade to the platform and being able to see to the community of what should be changed, Dimensions Network is committed to provide improved performance over time. In this page, uh, some of these pages, they're talking about futures and options, some of the call and put options. Okay, let's move further. So what are the challenges? What are the issues? One of the common issues with large investors like hedge fund is being able to transact huge amount quickly and Dimensions Network by the second phase there in the roadmap, they have an option to obtain banking licenses. So if they get that, it will ease the whole process. Uh, talking about the trading engine, they are actually going to use Erlang, which is one of the very well known programming language to achieve maximum availability and scalability. 
which of course means tomorrow if their number of users keeps on increasing they can scale it and if there are uh, they are like low latency and low uh, downtimes okay let's keep moving further so one of the unique uh, selling point for the strike token issues by, issued by dimensions network is the profit sharing of 15% and um, dimension network believe that their ICO will open up the opportunity for everyone uh, like you and me and maybe uh, just everyone to become a stakeholder in the business at a very early stage uh, and we don't need to be a venture capitalist for that okay so when does the crowd sale start so it's written here uh, the token sale starts on 24th Jan and ends by 24th Feb well if you pay one ether you can get up to 2400 STC and their target is to raise 50,000 ether let's look at the token distribution what are they going to do with these so this is how the token distribution looks like 60% will be available for sale 20% for business partners and advisors 10% for founders and, and the other point is the founders will have two years of lock-in period. So rest 10% will be for employee incentives. The tokens will be um, distributed to whatever the address you have provided, your Ethereum address, and um, there will be a lock-in period of three weeks. Initially, STC will be traded in some of the well-known exchanges like EtherDelta, Liqui, Bittrex, Binance, and uh, they hope to add some more in near future. The reward of 15% will be shared with the token holders every three months. So let's have a look to what is the potential. If we uh, look to this chart the volume ranges from 90 million to 500 million and if one 0.1 uh, percent average fee is considered and on top of that if we just consider the 50 percent trading fee there were uh, the actual benefit benefit for token holder it ranges from 13.5k to 75k which is which is very fair amount i would say and based on these numbers Dimensions Network project the yearly reward to be $1.64 million in 2018 and that can significantly increase over the five years to 87.6. So that is how the distribution will then further happen to token holders. So one of the questions which may come to our mind is why 15%? Why not 8, 10, you know, 20 or some other number? Um, well, Dimensions Network says that they do not want to complicate the whole process for token holders. So uh, let they just want to keep it um, simple and they feel 15% is a decent balance number for everyone. So how about their competitors? Because there are in fact other organizations who are also doing something similar. Uh, Dimensions Network says that there are number of competitors but uh, the problem which they are trying to solve in terms of putting together the hybrid platform the competitors are reasonably very small let's have a look to what they are going to charge at the transaction fee so for derivatives in fact for most of them they are going to charge 0.2 percent except for the currencies for which there are no fees okay let's move further Right. I will just skip some of these pages. Uh, they are general information. Let, let's have a look to this. Um, uh, let's have a look to the fund allocation. So 45% uh, will be spent on development fund, which is very good. 15% for marketing, 15% for compliance, regulation, 10% for administration, and uh, rest 5% each on others. So this is how the cost will be distributed in phases so measure 23,000 ether 
they will spend on developing the web based uh, trading platform further in the phase 2 they will spend on banking licenses to mobile accessibility to decentralization to real time currency so things will come into phases but I, but as you can see the major chunk over here is 23000 ether in the beginning for putting together the web based uh, trading platform something similar they are showing in the road map about those three phases well in order to launch quickly in the beginning they are going to support bitcoin ethereum and us tether to start with but then they plan uh, during the phases to add not just top 10 coins and erc2 uh, and alters but also based on the user requests and opinions they will try to add many more which can just uh, allow traders use literally anything and everything right so after this it is mostly about the terms and conditions and if you are willing to invest i would recommend you go through them but otherwise i think this is all i wanted to go through quickly i hope Uh, this summary would have helped you understand about um, dimension net network strike coin 